Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. So recently I made this scene right here which was um, this germ kind of scene and I really liked it and a lot of people liked it so what I'm going to do is show you guys how to make this scene. Now not as much detail as you see here but I'll show you the one we'll be making today. So this is the one we'll be making and it's it's pretty beginner friendly like if you know the basics of Blender you should be able to follow along quite well. So this is the one we'll be making and I'll be making this scene file available on um, Gumroad and I'll also be giving it out to my patrons as I always do. So yeah it's just a fun little tutorial I think you guys will really like it. Um, let's get into it. Okay so we have a new scene opened up in Blender go ahead and delete everything and we're gonna go shift A we're gonna go to our mesh options and add in a UV sphere. Then we're going to go into our front orthographic view. We're going to go G, Z and bring this guy up so it's sitting on our grid floor here. And then what we're going to do is um, add in a camera. So we're going to go Shift A, add in a camera. Then go to your right orthographic view, go G and just move this guy to the left of the screen here. And just rotate it down a little bit as well. And then we're going to go 0 to go into the camera view. And we're going to go to our camera settings and make the focal length from this 95. And then we're going to go G, hit the middle mouse wheel, and you can zoom back and forth to get a zoom that you like. So I'm going to go with something like this. Then I'm going to go Shift A, add in a plane. I'm going to scale this plane up like so. And then go S, X to scale along the X. And then I'm going to just grab these two vertices here. And then I'm going to go E, Y, and then E, Y, and then E, Z, and bring this guy up. And then G, Y, and bring that out. And then I'm going to go add a subdivision surface modifier to this and increase the viewport and increase the render and go to object enable uh, shade smooth and you can come in here if you want to and grab any one of these edges hit double G to slide them if you want a little bit more of a, a fall off here or not so totally up to you guys but I'm gonna go with this so now we're gonna grab this little dude here and it's pretty straightforward so tap into edit mode double tap R with all of this geometry selected and then go R. So we're just rotating it and getting it into position like this. And then we're gonna go to our face select, deselect all of this geometry. And then we're gonna hit C and that's gonna bring up this C selection tool. And we, if we roll the middle mouse wheel, we can grow it or shrink it. So I'm gonna grow it to something like this. And then I'm gonna select um, these faces here, just like that. Maybe a little bit smaller actually. Um, just these ones like this. And then I'm gonna go E, S to scale them in. And then what we're gonna do is go E to extrude it in. And what we need to do is um, grow the selection by going Control plus and grow it two times. Come here to the smooth options and click on that tool and then drag this little yellow thing out like this. And that's just gonna smooth it out. And with all of that still selected, we're gonna go Control and hit minus just to shrink the selection. And then we're gonna go E to, inst to inst extrude it in a little bit. And then ES to extrude it out. And I know that looks bad at the moment, but what we're gonna do is just go into a wireframe and go G and just move that guy back inside there like this. And it's just a matter of moving it back. And then we're gonna go E one more time to extrude that in and then tab out of edit mode and then we're going to give this a subdivision surface and go to object and enable uh, shade smooth. And I know at the moment this looks really messy but what we can do is just tab into edit mode again, go to vertex select, enable the proportional editing tool here and then grab these vertices here and just make the mouth like a shape that you want. So I'm just going to grab these vertices here and maybe smooth out this a little bit but because we um, because it's all square geometry, it kind of gives us this kind of imperfect kind of edge. It's a little bit wobbly and that's really good because it just really adds to the stylized style of this character. So I'm just going to go something like this. You guys can spend as much time as you want. I'm just going to go with something like that. And then let's add in some eyes. So I'm going to go mesh, add in a UV sphere, go to object, able shades move, give this guy a subdivision surface modifier and then scale it down and then go G, Z and bring this guy up and then GY and bring it forward in the scene. Go to your camera view and just place the eye where you want it and then go Shift D, make another one. And you can scale these up as much as you want and bring them back and forth into the character as much as you need to. Um, totally make it however you want. I'm just gonna go with this. And let's grab this guy actually. 
Bring it out. Yeah, you guys can spend as much time as you want, but what I'm gonna do now is make some teeth. I'm gonna go Shift A, teeth are real simple, add in a cube, tab into edit mode, go S, Y to scale it along to Y, go into wireframe and then select these top vertices and go X and delete that face. And then select these, um, select these bottom vertices and go E to extrude them down. Tab out of edit mode and let's give this guy a subdivision surface modifier and enable shade smooth. And you can come here, give the viewport count two and make the render free. And then we're gonna bring it forward here. Just tab into edit mode and just hit all of, select all of this and go G, Z, just to bring it down to that little orange dot there, which is the origin point, which is where we wanna be scaling from. And then we're just gonna bring it into the mouth here. Go to the front view or just rotate it around. This doesn't have to be perfect and quite wonky because it's stylized. So we can kind of get away with it. So I'm just giving him some teeth here. And you can make them all a little bit different if you want, like go into edit mode and just mess around with things. But I'm just keeping it really simple for this tutorial. If you hit R and you hit Z twice, you can rotate along its local Z. If you want to move teeth around. So I'm just going with that and then just really simple and basic editing. Moving the teeth around in here and scaling them. Yeah, just something like that. And then I'm gonna grab these teeth here, shift duplicate to duplicate all of them and then turn them around by hitting R and rotating and then just moving them back into the mouth here. And rotating them like this and Just getting a them positioned in here. Like I said, you guys can grab each one individually, make it as stylized as you want. So I'm just gonna go with this. That looks pretty awesome. Now we're gonna um, just grab this guy, give it a material. And let's make this material green. So I'm gonna go with kind of like a lime green. And let's grab, go to the viewport display and just give that a green so we can see it's been applied. Then I'm gonna grab the eye here, go new. We're gonna make this guy black and bring the roughness all the way down. And then we're gonna come down to here and make the black, um, the viewport color display black. Then if we select this guy and then grab this guy holding in shift and go control L, we can link that material. And the teeth, um, we can just leave them as they are because they'll just render as white. But that's looking pretty good. So let's add in a light. So I'm gonna go shift A, add in an area light. Go G, Z, bring it up. Then we're gonna bring up the scale, bring up the power. So roll it all the way up to about 230. Go to your render settings, make sure an EV, enable ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. So now if we go Z and we go rendered, we're gonna see this is what we have, um, but that's not good enough yet. So we'll just move this guy forward a bit and rotate it. Then go Shift D, make another one and then rotate it. Go to the top view, Shift D, Rotate one like this, and then shift D, rotate this guy like this. So let's have a look at that. That's looking pretty cool. And you can grab this guy over here, that green material, and you can make this green a little bit more saturated, but you can also come here to the subsurface value and just increase that a little bit to give it some subsurf scatter, and then make this color here just slightly pinkish. And that's just gonna make it look a little bit translucent. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And another thing you can do is grab this backdrop, go new, and make this guy dark. I just like it dark. And with my original one that I did, I made, I gave this like a gravel texture. I just like the texture, but I'm not gonna do that for this tutorial. So grab your camera and then under your camera settings, enable depth of field. Grab this little eyedropper and just select this dude over here and then bring this f-stop value down. Just so the background is nice and focused. Okay, so let's just add an empty then. So shift A, go to the empty, add in a cube empty, bring it, in front of the character and then grab the camera again and this is instead of selecting that sphere just cross that out and grab the eyedropper and select that empty so now the empty is the focal point we can move that around as we need to okay that works a lot better so if we grab our camera again we can go to our aperture and just bring that f-stop value down as much as we need to just to blur out that background and you can always take this guy here just select all of his teeth and then select him and his eyes. And then you can just go Shift D, Y and move another one in the background. 
And if you double, double tap R, you can kind of rotate this guy around and the space and just pose it at the background. I kind of just like seeing this guy at the back. Another one at the back there. Maybe scale it down to make it like small. Put it over here, a little one. Um, yeah, and also another thing you can do is just add in some spheres or some mesh spheres. So go up to the mesh, add in some UV spheres. Just enable shade smooth on them and just give them that green material and scale them down and just place some spheres in the background. I just kind of think it adds a lot of style to the scene. It's like that. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I'm gonna leave it at this. It's been a fun little thing um, to render it. Just go here to render and then render. And here we have it. I've just realized there's one thing that I missed. So quickly close this and let's grab this guy again. And let's just tab into edit mode. And let's just select a vertice at the back of the mouth and hit control plus a few times just to grow the selection inside the mouth. And let's create a new material, go new and assign. And let's just make this a dark green inside the mouth. Let's make sure we assign it. And just make sure it's not on the lips and the outside here. So just that inside. So now if we render, if we got that nice dark green in the middle, that looks a lot better. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So you can go render and and here we have it. That is a nice looking render. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be making this scene file available to my patrons and I will also make it available for a dollar on Gumroad. That'll all be in the link below.